All right. I think this is 13. Dream Workshop 13. Today is a little different. We are composing a piano part. Um, and it's interesting because we're going to do two songs. At first, I didn't think these songs needed piano. But now, I think they do. The reason being, in this album, every every instrument has a character to it. And the piano is uh, one of the main characters. So because of that, there needs to be piano in some of these songs. That's not the only reason I'm putting piano in here. Um, especially a song like Exploder or Explosion. It's called right now. It should be Exploder. And we were deciding whether we wanted electric guitar or um, piano. And I think piano is more fitting for this song because it represents Hatman. The piano in this album represents Hatman. Um, the guitar is going to represent another more demonic character because I think the guitar electric guitars kind of could be probably like the villain of this album so that's where that's where that thinking is at right now so with those other two songs or with those other songs that I've shown show, so far they've been pretty like composed but these ones are not they're more like these are just my parts written and I record I recorded the guitar part and handed it off to Chris and Anthony to make their own parts I'm gonna close pocket master for now we're gonna start with um, exploder and our goal is to make a piano part and I have the lyrics handy here because the lyrics decide where and when the piano part will come in. I'll turn myself up a little bit. All right. So Exploder is introduces uh, one of the spirit characters who explodes dreams. So it's one of the legend songs. Legend of Exploder, Legend of Hatman, Legend of Pocket Master. I've already done Hatman just by improvising, but Exploder and Pocket Master are a little different. Cause they they have like these solo sections that are so quick. And I wanna be like well calculated. So this first part here, bum bum, then there's a drum solo. And then this is where the piano lead comes in. But Hatman is going to come in on verse 2. Because that's where it kind of comes in. So it goes banished to red. There was the hat man. Oh, there was the hat man. So this is where the word hat man is said, and this is where the piano will come in. So it's describing like when. And this chord, and this is why I have to be like kind of careful, and why I have to like compose it. It's not like just putting a part in. This chord is just C major, so piano would just come in with like a little, uh, probably like kind of a high chord. And it'll be kind of soft, probably. That's a piano. Uh, oh yeah, we're in six eight, so we're gonna put dotted half note. Uh, maybe dotted. 
Hmm. Hmm. So we got to be careful because guitar is providing harmony. There's vocals going on, and we don't want to get in the way of those. Yeah, maybe a. There was that. Maybe um, it could play a broken chord here. This next chord, still C major. So we can do, this is left hand. And there's bass here. I have to be careful too. Um, with the bass part. It doesn't have to be anything complicated, you know. Bo bum That's what I hear. Yeah. It's like a little counter melody going on, kind of low, to match my um, voice, because I'm a bass. I'm going to put score on. Yeah, that way I could see every part. I'm going to take off the tab and piano because this keyboard part, we don't need a guitar tab to help us out. I kind of want to put another note here. Da but I don't know if I like that note with so that's an E and that's a C. It should sound okay. Mm. We can do like kind of like a little offset. So let me picture the vocals here. Banished to there was the hat man. All the dream does from afar. Yeah. Followed it. So I'm hitting an F there vocally. And this chord is D minor. D minor. Uh, I don't know if that's going to sound good. Let me see. No, it does not. <laughs> So this is the exact note the guitar is doing, so I want to like go off of that. So what we've done here, for those interested in composition, the guitar chord ends here. The piano chord picks off where the guitar chord leaves off. So if you have two instruments doing just the role of harmony, and guitar can do harmony all by itself. But we, we need the piano to do something. So the piano is going to make this harmony even bigger. Still soft, but just bigger. Yeah. Let's see. So the dream does from afar. I think this is going to repeat here. That's what I hear. So we should have like a little... I might put some left-hand notes here too. Because you can really make big harmonies here, but we don't want to be too too loud. There was that man Saw the dream dust from the fall Saw explosion you were best friends from the start. I like this left hand thing here. What? 
It's not in skill, no? Is it not? What's oh, that A minor chord? Oh, snap. See? This is why you gotta compose it. <laughs> that is why I gotta compose it. Now it's an A minor chord. So it sounds like it's the same chord, but it's not. Nice. It still ends on a D. It's interesting. It's kind of like a fake out. So A minor and C major have like almost the same notes. So C, E, G for C major and A, C, E. So like when you flop them, switch them out, you get this like kind of cool effect. And I fooled myself, which is kind of cool. I feel like it should do some 16th actually. Mm. Is that the note I left off on? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, bum. Did that, yeah, complete. And we can make this. Oh, maybe not that. Though I have been like experimenting with quote unquote wrong notes. <laughs> but I don't think not with this song. Okay. I got banished. Saw the dream dust from afar. Banished it. Saw the explosion. Two of our best friends from the start. Ah, uh, that might be too busy. Two were best friends from the start. Uh, maybe a different note. The start. Da 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 da. How about that? And then this will be like a tie note. Tie. Where's the tie? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of cool. When people, uh, so when some people naturally sing songs, they don't always stay in the bar line, you know, like naturally. Ah. Okay. Cool, I like that. I'm gonna m add some more stuff here. So, um, I don't know what note Chris is playing, but I'm just gonna double down on C. We'll do a middle C, just to give it a little. And then we'll put this is D minor, so we'll put like a. Just a little subtle, soft two uh, note here. We could even go like end this little pattern. Maybe not. Yeah. Do another C here, or not C, D. I hear it, G, does that not work? Yeah, it's a C major chord, so it does.
down. And I could... Like, this part might look intimidating, but... I could do it with one hand, but I could also move my right hand over here. Let this note ring with the sustain. I think you can let it ring here, too. But it's probably, like, not working <laughs> with the MIDI. And there's a little space here, so I was thinking we could even have like the main melody for like a few seconds. Yeah, I'm also going to open up because like this is explosion, explosion. Let me see if I could pull up the rough draft. Explosion. Oh, maybe I called it Exploder. <laughs> I'll just look in here. Um, where is the rough draft? Oh, click track. There it is. Okay. We got it. We have, um, <laughs> or at least I'm not super organized as much as I need to be with this stuff. Um, so I'm pulling up the rough draft, which I think y'all can hear too. Yeah, showing that y'all can hear it. So I have to re-sing this song because it's called Exploder now, not Explosion. But the lyrics here are still Explosion. <laughs> so, And it's just like one take, just raw, just so I could get the part down. So. Not perfect. <laughs> yeah, and the countdown is not what it's supposed to be either. It's like, there's so many things wrong with it right now. But I want to make sure, like, this is lining up. Oh, he does double bass there. Squiggles. This is the part we're writing right now. It could have like I think it works. There could also be something here, but it might not be piano there, because there's like room for melody in another place too. So the dream that's from far vanished it and saw explosions to this from Oh. My uh, mouse was like stuck on that other part. Something like that. So, I knew, I was like, I think I got this rhythm totally wrong. Da 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 da. There it is. Da da. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Da 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 da. I think it's another dotted, and then another sixteenth. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be interesting. Da. Bum, 
This should start here. There we go. And it's pretty high, so it's out of the way of the guitar, so it won't clash with these notes. Yeah, won't clash. Does anyone play piano? Because this is the stream for you. <laughs> It's like a uh, sporadic. I think last stream I was practicing a guitar solo. That I have that pretty down now. I practice that more throughout the week, just a little bit every day. Put on television show and just work on those parts. I thought it was cool to capture like the beginning practicing stages uh, of learning that guitar solo. Chris agreed to do the other guitar part, so that should shave some time. So I could work as uh work as focus on other stuff here. We might even uh show that guitar solo again. Yeah, I like that. We might put in some left hand notes too, because this is just what is happening here, because. We have a D minor add six and a D minor. So that six is going to be a B. So. Da, 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 da. I can like play around with rhythm. Da, da. Yeah. Da, da. Like when the. When the parts are more showboaty, nice. It should have been there last stream. I watched it all though. Yeah, <laughs> it's part of practicing that people don't show <laughs> because it makes everyone it makes you look bad, you know. Um, at least some of the colleagues I used to work with, um, they would be afraid to show like their weakness, you know, but. If you practice and you don't sound like you're a total beginner, you're not practicing right. <laughs> That's what uh, my old piano teacher used to say. I'm going to make these notes softer. Ba -ba. If you play a little bit of piano, this is... Like, even if you just play a little bit, because I'm not writing a piano piece, I'm writing a piano part. Um, sometimes, like most of the people who I come across who know a little bit of piano, just do it so that they can add to their own music let's see if this sounds good i don't know if it is yeah and the guitar is there too so that might be an issue maybe go root position or we can go lower That might make it pretty big though. I don't want it to be big here. Maybe it's okay if it doubles the notes. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Yeah, kind of works. And then we can make um, the same rhythm. This is the left hand. I'm gonna add that B. That's what the guitar changes to. We gotta make that be quiet. <laughs> so it's like they're doing different rhythms. And here we go. Cool. Yeah, I'm never gonna delete the streams. I'm just gonna keep them there because they're good reference tools for me because <laughs> I forget sometimes like some ideas da, 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 da. it could be kind of like um polka <laughs> or da, 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 let me see what I actually hear I'm paying too much attention to left hand
Da 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 da. Let's hope I can pick it up. Da 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 da. So that's F. Ba ba ba. Da da da. Da da. Oh, I I like that better than what was in my head. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's very uh, blocky, which is very different from everything else that's going on. So it's kind of cool. I kind of want to do something cool here. Let's see if I could pull it off. <laughs> I'm going to make like an echo effect, but it's not an echo effect. Da, 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 da. Let's see. How would I write that on a piano stuff like that? So we got... Da, 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 da. We've got eighth rest. This is a second voice, which you see in like if you if you've practiced like Chopin. Sometimes he does this, and Tchaikovsky definitely does this. So see, I'm not totally abandoning <laughs> what I've been taught in music school. Problem with this is the left hand has to change because there's cross voicing now. If I keep this, um, is there cross voicing? So that's what's the lowest note I play? Is this D? Yeah, kind of cross voicing. So I'm gonna bring this D down over here. Take that one out. Yeah, just like that. Now there's no cross voicing. And now the piano part has two voices. One on the top, one on the bottom. Yeah, that's cool. That's like there's three instruments going on here. It's basically a mini piano piece happening, to be honest. I'm hearing eighth notes here. Just like that. Let's see. This could work here too. Ah, uh, I think I might have shot myself in the foot. When does the vocals come back in? <laughs> Let me see. You explode the dream. Dog explosion. Do so it works. Um, I want to kind of, yeah. So that's where I'm putting that piano part. Us from afar, vanished in a soul explosion. Two of us from the start. I think I have to move this here.
Yeah, because the vocals come in on this measure, and I think they will. I think it's gonna be a problem here. So I say I control the dream. I control the dream. And you nah, it's not gonna work. I want to start this melody. I think this melody will still work if it's moved back. We're gonna find out. If not, then I just have to be smarter. Yeah, it works. But I want to move this to. So it's going to need. What voice am I on? There we go. So it's going to need this chord. They're slightly different. This chord has the B. This chord, this chord has the A. Now we're going to have a little dilemma with this part. So now instead of uh, I got an idea. This could be the eighth note. Anyway, it gets the pattern can start on the quarter note. Yeah. If you watched the guitar stream, I really complained a lot about guitar. <laughs> And my beefs with the instrument. There's some beefs I have with piano too. It's just like you have to do so much work on piano to get the same effects as other instruments. Like guitar, I can make a C chord and strum all day long. With piano, you have to really know your voicings and stuff. Guitar is like kind of set for you, which is kind of cool. I feel like there should be a one of these guys here. That's a C. What if it's above? No. No. It'll sound better if I play the grace note. <laughs> I almost want to do a trill. Can I do a trill? Trill, that's trill. Oh, it is a trill. Cool. Yeah, because you would be able to do a trill on guitar. So, so fret 7. Oh, it doesn't give you a... Da -da. Ooh. Mm, da -da -da. Just want... Maybe the eighth note. Hmm. I'll come back to that. I'll put this here for now. I'll decide like when I actually record it if I want a trill or a grace note. Yeah. Because I'm not going to decide based on how well the program can play it. I want to decide based on how well I can play it. So now the vocals are back here, so I'm going to clear this measure and we'll move back to the upper voice. I think it does the same thing here. I could. 
Oh, I, I never. Hatman didn't come in at that part, so I have to make this beginning. Let's see, what are the lyrics here? It seems like I got them. This is where he starts saying, I control. So Hatman's talking here, so there should be piano. <laughs> We can put like some quarter note pattern. Dun, 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 dun. I think that'd be kind of cool. Something, we'll see. This chord is D minor, I'm guessing. Yeah. And I just want to test how the rhythm sounds before I decide what notes I want to use. And it'll be like really soft. This is where piano shines though. You can do like these very soft, subtle, uh, freak, freak, uh, rhythm stuff <laughs> and get away with it. Cause it's like, if you did this on a distortion guitar, it could give you trouble, but like clean guitar, you can do it. Just kind of thing. Da, 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 da. So I'm going to put like maybe a hemiola. Maybe. That'd be hard to play and sing, though. So maybe not. Banished it. And so... I eh, probably could do it. But I don't know if I want it to go that crazy. But maybe I do. Let me see how it sounds first. Just do it simple I like the third sound better than this dun, dun, dun. and we keep this soft boom 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 maybe this could do like broken eighth notes do some So the left hand's just gonna be doing simple triad, boom, 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 boom. And I used like I was taught in college that doing just simple triads broken is uh what do you uh beginner or uh signs of a beginner composer. But then I heard Sakamoto do it and I'm like, I know he ain't a beginner composer. They sound uh, like very secluded and because it's as tight as you can go. Hmm, but I don't know if I like that. It's filling in this F. So it's this or this. So we're hitting an A. FA, yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, that should be good. And I'm guessing this is a C. Yeah, so we'll put a C chord here. Keep it simple with the voicing. Because the guitar, I'm guessing it's going to be, it is there. So we're gonna go the other way. Da, boom, boom, boom. That's gonna be annoying to play. It's like uh, in piano, the flashy parts are easy, and the <laughs> this kind of thing is not. Like this part, I probably just read through it, <laughs> but this part. Like, I'll actually have to practice a little bit. And I like this third, third's motif going on. So we'll keep a G, a E. The quarter notes are okay right now. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how that left hand's gonna gonna sound. I can change up some of the notes here. I think that left hand is very good. Where are these notes? Up there. So if I go up there, that's a problem. See. See how that sounds. Nah, I still don't like that. Let me turn off the Met and hear it. Oh, the Met is a drum kit song. Sounds like medieval. <laughs> I'm hearing something off. No, because that E. It's too many notes trying to be the bass. So instead of going down to the C, I'm going to try repeating this thirds pattern. I like that better. What is doing? I'm hearing a part that's like not even written. It's like all making this weird. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. <laughs> kind of like that. keep this going it might be hard to play and sing but I think if we do these live they're gonna be like totally different anyway because I probably there probably won't be guitar if we do it live hmm I'm worried about that G let's see Is that C chord? It's A minor. So yeah, it should be. That could work. This pattern is even going to be more different because A minor voicing is all up in the mid range where I want the left hand to be. So it's going to go like the other way. Now I'm in bass guitar territory. Maybe here. Sounds pretty cool. Want it softer though. Maybe it could crescendo though. Yeah. And I could put a little cling here. That's what I call them. I'll show you what a cling is. I control the dreams. We can never such fun. And this could do could end kind of strongish. Da, 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 da. 
Maybe not that strong. That's a... Dynamics is gonna be everything when I have to perform this. Or record it. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Keep this motif coming back here. Da, 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 da. Oh, starts on A. That's scary. See this weird scale? What scale is this? Like, I really like it. Like where it's like what natural minor skip the second. I wonder if that's a scale. It's not the first time I used it in this song, or not the song in um, this album. And I'm like, it sounds like very familiar, but I don't know the scales. I have like all the scales here in this program. I'm sure people make up their own scales for fun. That's probably what someone else did. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So this is the whole... We haven't even got to like the big flashy part. continue this quarter note pattern here but with higher notes which would actually be pretty cool for it Dun, um, like a little counter melody because i'm going to be singing the dreamers don't remember so i'm going to be really low here Let me hear, see what I hear. I actually hear a F there. B flat. Let me see. Why do I hear a B flat in my head? Could it be? B flat kind of works. What chord is this? A minor. Oh wait, this one. This chord. C major. Why does that work so well? It shouldn't. C major? Yeah. C major with a B flat makes it dominant. So what does dominant sound like? Why does <laughs> this mess up with me? Dominant doesn't. This is a dominant chord here. It's called a dominant seventh. And it's supposed to sound like it's weird to use them in a way where it sounds like not bluesy. So it's interesting I'm trying to like figure out what I did like theory wise. Cause I'm a music theorist too. Yeah, I wonder what I did. It's kind of cool. Like a little epic counter melody going on in the background. And it stops there. And so. The piano part's going to be really cool in this song because it rests this whole time in the beginning. So like when you first hear it, you don't even know there's a piano in the song. 
And it's kind of like a reward, you know? <laughs> like, you listen this far, here comes the piano, here comes Hat Man. At the same time, the character is introduced, the piano is introduced. And it gives you a little melody and fun times. I could even come in late here. And I could repeat that melody in a weird way. Oh man, that's going to be hard. Okay. So, here's what I want to do. I want to repeat this little theme that the piano did here during the countdown. The only problem is that the main theme is in 6-8. And the new time is for four. But I like to say, or is it? And crazy stuff happens when you just throw away time. Yeah, and I want it to start here right away. Let's see if it works. So I need to copy this rhythm here. I don't know if it's going to be the same rhythm, so see. Okay. That's going to be crazy. <laughs> it's like something wants to happen, but it's not supposed to happen. And here it is. It's like, but it's it's six eight, so... And this isn't the first time this album does this. So if you're like really into rhythm. Um, we had this friend in college. Me and Anthony went to music school together. And we had this guitarist friend. He was pretty cool. He was like this goofy dude. And like really goofy. Really like out there guy. Got along with like everyone. And we were all like writing music. Or he was writing music too and with percussion ensemble so I would write an ensemble and we would all play it and he wanted to write one too <laughs> and he wrote different parts had different time signatures and his theory was that it would all line up eventually and end together you know but it, it he, he couldn't make it work and I'm like it's kind of an interesting theory. So this is actually kind of inspired by him. Because like my old brain before that happened would think, well, you can't do that because it's a different time. But you can if you just force it. <laughs> Which is what's going to happen here. So we're going to have to get creative with this quarter note. I think I need the tab back because easier to just tie with the tab and put numbers and we might even do some counterpoint here because why not right we're crazy I'll regret it later when I have to practice it da -da -da. we're gonna tie it to another nice note Nice. Like just the melody. I'll figure out the chords later. Da, 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 da. It's working. How come I hear that? It's so crazy. That's going to be pretty cool. I think it's gonna like make the song probably because I was kind of like worried about the song like you know Exploder like I wrote it like basically a song for Anthony to have some fun with but you know he only has one measure on each solo 
and like that was kind of all it had going for it but now like i'm starting to see the rest of it so it's pretty cool because i'm like it's missing a lot of stuff and i don't know what And it could even trail off. I think it could. So we'll trail it off. But I want to go back and put some left hand notes. Because my left hand's not doing anything. It's going to just do like simple harmony. So this is D minor. So I'll just hit a low D. Uh, let me hear what the bass is doing here. Uh, did I close that? Let me open that again. Okay, I'm just pulling up like the audio file we actually recorded. <laughs> so I need to hear the bass at the countdown. We can have some more. It'll work with the bass guitar if I just keep smacking the D note at the countdown. Oh, so that's what he's doing. I need to hear. Yeah, I need to hear that part. The dreamers won't remember. We can have some fun for ourselves. Yeah, cool. Chris is kind of playing timid here, though. Which might make this sound even cooler. Mm. Like, just soft, low notes would be kind of cool. Ba -ba -bum. Kind of double what he's doing. And we could even, like, go even more double duty. And, da. Bass. Harmony. Because we want, like, low notes here. Because we had high notes on the other part. And just keep them, like, quiet. Um, let's keep them quiet. Maybe not thirds. Or maybe just a tiny bit higher. That sound that could be muddy. What are we thinking B flat again? <laughs> I like that B flat. I don't know why. Makes it dominant seven. So it could resolve. Almost to the boom.
Okay. I like the idea of, yeah, I like this melody going on here. It's like super cool. It's like his theme. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Uh, I'm just testing out something in my head. I wish uh, I could plug this the mic into my brain so y'all can hear what I'm hearing. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. I'm going to sing very terribly because it's me interpreting what I hear in my head. I don't know how to sing it yet, but this is what it is. Because I have a problem with the main melody of the song. Like, I'm like, it's too s simple. It's just one word. It's just the word exploder. And it's just saying that's his name. But this melody has more notes. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely change that. Definitely. I mean, I said it here. I don't. I could write it down if I want to, but. Like, I have reference to the stream so but yeah that is we found the chorus caught i want to see what that looks like later like it's just so bizarre because it's similar to this melody which will make this melody even crazier the melody is kind of like this, the main melody. So, yeah, that's like pretty monumental there. It's going to end up being like a really cool song. soft I don't know if I want to do that many notes I like that C though maybe I will do just for this one come this one get softer there we go this might go with piano's gonna be playing its own song <laughs> like that's really what's happening. Like da 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 da. da, da. So the left hand needs to come in there. So make this like quarter. That should do it. Da, da, da. So it's a little more rhythmic now because. It's like it's, it's doing its own thing here. That's not crossing, is it? No, it's not. 
And yeah, that's gonna be a nightmare to read. I have my ways though. <laughs> Not about what's on paper sometimes. Keep that quiet. I really want these high notes here <laughs> for our left hand. parts becoming pretty cool <coughs> so I'm thinking that's where it's gonna trail off yeah that's where it's gonna trail off so yeah we put it all together we came up with a new melody for the chorus that's pretty big I've been waiting to hear that you know like the chorus I sang is kind of like temporary like as a part because I wanted to get the song out enough like in time for them to just play it um, let me see what I hear That way, if I fail at the countdown, there could just be something like the countdown won't be like the main focus of this part. The piano part will, which is bizarre. I didn't think I'd be doing that. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, it does. Now be natural. Wow. That's so weird. It's <laughs> so weird. It's like freaking me out. Da, da. Maybe I dotted. Da, 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 da. Just normal. Yeah, it was that. I guess it's very blocky then. Hmm. Ba 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 thrum. Maybe it is. Kinda sounds cool. Am I really thinking about a 30 second note? <laughs> what does the world come to? Melody is like really weird. Don't get it. Hmm. 
Because, like, that's what I would do on guitar. <laughs> I guess I was writing that other guitar part. It's kind of messing with this one. I actually like that. can change to a B flat because they both sound good for some reason. Oh, I want da 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 da. <laughs> that's like a pretty good ending spot but we're just gonna have to figure out what's the next part So I need this like little keeper here. Da 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 where it's going to start to speed up so the keyboard will repeat this little melody what note completes the bar let's see start of eighth. that's how I roll yeah it's beating up there I'm not going to continue out melody here because we want to build tension the main part is the build up the speed so their me main melody will end like here, and then it does like a just this. And that makes the song a lot cooler than it was. Because there was like, it's like something was missing. figure out this left hand over here so I'm gonna listen to it all in context and then I'm gonna decide like what comes next for the keyboard or for the left hand for the left hand all right
cool. So I, I hear more eighth notes here. Da, 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 da. Just something like, nothing too crazy. Yeah, like these two. Why does it look like that? Oh, we're getting no clashing. How low does this go? Oh, it's that, yeah, that A. So we don't want the A. Though. We want the F. We want them to be quiet. Something like that. We're gonna put a quarter note here. sound but let's see this might actually be 16 notes sound good but it doesn't hmm let's see yeah instead of going up here I could just do a quarter note with the right hand because I could do some I could do a big build up on piano. Like if you know what you're doing, you can it can like almost be as big as a electric guitar like if you if you know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do that here. I could. I could though. It's just hard to know what the notes are without like being um, I guess in the moment. But yeah. Da, da, da. Oh, the quarter notes actually sound pretty good. Kind of like, like bells. And it's just playing a power, basically a five chord. Yeah, inverted five. So I could just keep doing that. We could even do like, and this might be different when I play it. I might put some notes in between if whatever I see fit. should be pretty loud. Yeah. All right. So now we're at the final chorus. So the piano only plays one chorus with everybody. Yeah. Only one. I keep thinking it plays two, but 
it's only one. Let's hear what we've got so far. Make sure first two is good to go. So this is where the piano needs to be flashy. Um, it's gonna double the chords with everybody here. Boom, boom, because I think everybody is gonna do that. What notes though? Probably just so. Boom, boom. Gonna do like. notes I think would be good yeah it's doubling some but like it's getting some of the notes the guitar isn't getting Duh. and the first few measures are his little break Oops. Uh, let's add another rest. Oh, is it? Dotted eighth rest and two rests. Okay. That's going to do those. Piano will go down here. Hmm. Too low? Maybe. Should we go that low? Maybe. 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 Why not? Let's see what happens. That's a D, dude. Yeah, let's. Should be big. Bum, bum. And plus, it'd be cool to hear like that low piano actually being written well in uh ensemble. <laughs> so it'd be kind of cool. I should have done that first. Boom. Making these little, ex these notes like took a lot of time to figure out. <laughs> it's like, it's just a f little five chord, but it's like, do I want any of the sorrow or do I want just power? And I, I chose power. That's why they're five chords. Like uh, a music uh, composition snob would be like, he put a simple five chord, but it's not, it's because the chord's small. It's like three, two notes, as opposed to even the triad, which is three. So they, they, they deem it inferior, but it's like, yeah, they're five chords because I want power. Like, even on piano, they're still powerful. Like, it's not just guitar. 
There's a reason rock and roll uses a lot of power chords. It's because they're powerful. That's why they're called power chords. Five chords. That's why they have that nickname. Yeah. So now it's the piano's turn to solo. So he has to solo and go back to the chords. So what is he going to do in this break? That's the question. So we're going to listen to it from... Maybe we could do triplets. <laughs> Just the triplet run. What is the chord? D minor. Good start down here. It's a little triplet run. I think it's C. Yeah. Oops. It came in too early. Uh, see, this is where I'm having trouble. Where does he come in? So, like, is there even a rest? No, there's a rest. Maybe this. There it is. It is that. Oh, what am I doing up here? Oh. Yeah, it's going to have to copy that. Okay. I'm going to want to dot that or dot that. Oh no. Da -da -da. Let's see. It's gonna be like at the end, the timing's off. Mm, insert. Well, maybe not triple it, rest. Is that the timing? I think that might be. So. It is. That is the timing. So weird. Slow little run. Oh. Okay, I see what I'm doing. go back and forth here so I do another one and then I gotta go C or A minor Resolves. Um, rest, 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 and put some low notes here to continue that low A crunch time. Okay. 
Okay. Piano parts or something else. <laughs> like, I was like, it could really make or break this song. Um, like, try to... Like, the song is not bad as it is, but, you know, it could be better. Which there was always meant to be a piano part in here anyway. D minor, good. Cause we gotta do. So we could do something brilliant, brilliant, brilliantly. Something really like what the heck just happened? I think that's what we're gonna do with these two counts. Do you count? All right. All right, we got something going. Something like that. They kind of come in a little early. Maybe I should too. Um, I don't know if that's what. <laughs> Um, I think it needs this. Let's see. Yeah. Cool. So it's gonna like bridge a melody. That's cool. Okay. Left hand. It's gonna be like a little bass. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum. These are all going to be staccato. Because I'm a counterpoint dude. Making it even crazier. Kind of want sixteen. Maybe another A. 
Oops. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> the program kind of crashed, so I'm just gonna open it again. Okay. All right. That is not over yet, but <laughs> Pocket Master glitched. Sometimes when you go crazy. With the composition, it can get a little... Oh, it's not Pocket Master, it's Explosion. I was like, where's the piano part? <laughs> Hopefully I didn't like delete anything. Nice, okay, it's still alive. We want to just put another A here. Oh. That's going to be kind of hard. All staccato. Nice. That's going to be pretty cool. So I'm thinking here, I don't want the piano to be to like I don't want to be doing a counter melody here. So I'll probably just do like I actually probably do whole notes. So we got and then C major chord. And I can play around with these voicings too, like when I go to record it. And then A minor. Oh, I'm hearing sixty notes. Be careful this part. Let me hear this little melody again. So I'm taking.
Let me see how everyone else plays over here. Okay, they do get pretty loud. Yeah, don't get used to those lyrics. They sound so silly. And it's kind of funny, but I think I want a more serious melody. I think. Quarter notes here to fill in the. I want to put dot. Yeah, just little. That's what I heard. Okay. Yeah, I forget, like, the tempo of the song is weird. Okay, then it gets to another solo section. So now the left hand is going to do quarter notes. Oh, not that slow. Bum, 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 bum. Dude, eight notes. Oh, this last chorus is going to be really cool because um, I'm realizing this melody is really simple bah, bah, that I'm planning to replace what you heard before. It's very simple, and I bet I could get a few people to sing it too, like to sing with the last chorus, so we can have this bigger sound. Because like, yeah, I, I could like overdub myself, but if it's different voices singing the same part, it just makes it bigger, like because it's a community. So I'm just gonna f definitely get Chris and. Probably Anthony to back up sing on this part, this final chorus. This song got like a lot better. It, it's still in my head though, the the main melody. Like that vocal part, I wish it was there already. <laughs> oh yeah, we still need to finish putting the left hand. Boom, boom. Guessing it's gonna do. Do we want fifths? Yeah. Get throwing a little third there. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool. Boom, 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 boom. What chord is that? F? <laughs> Let me just look at it. It's A minor, okay. Boom. I'm thinking I might do these voices. Uh. Maybe not that low. 
Sounds not very good there. That's because there's no bass guitar to root the note. That's pretty nice there. Okay. But yeah, this is piano composition, man. Piano only gets one solo. I think. Let me see. Let's see what's going on. Drum solo. Bass solo. Oh, Chris did an extra solo. <laughs> I forgot. He did a solo over mine. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm like, why is there a bass? There's like three bass holes. It should be just two. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. So let's tap it. So I'll probably take that one. I mean, he's just tapping anyway. I don't think he'll be too offended. Because <laughs> the other solos are way more cooler. I kind of like the tapping because it's like he's looming. Yeah, boom. Maybe, I think I could write something that could go over that. It's like he's, it's like he's stepping on my, my solo. That'd be kind of cool. That might be kind of hard. What is up with these measures? Let's see. There. Just make one of them dotted. That was the solution the whole time. Okay. All right. Hanging in there. Trying to figure out what it. Maybe it's not one that's in my head. Maybe it's one that's in the style. I could do that. Should I do that? I want to make these. Left hand's also gonna be doing something. But that. Is 
says even A minor. Let's see. <laughs> it's over here playing an A minor chord. We want. Um, I think I must. Am I gonna just go that crazy? Hmm. Da da da. da. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> Nah, that's too insane. I'm not. No. Nah. <laughs> I'll keep them 60 notes. I just wanted to see how that sounded. Ooh. <laughs> They're still in here. In my head, they lined up perfectly, but now they're not, so I'm missing a note in my head. When it's something this fast, I don't know what it could be. Let's see, one of these notes is extra, I think. It's just that, yeah. Yeah. That's going to be pretty tough, but it's going to be cool too. Staccato too, I could do that staccato. Yeah. Um, no, that didn't go as planned. That's why those two extra notes were there. So we need to insert two extra notes. Two extra notes. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, that's quite a bit. Yeah. That's going to be helpful, actually. <laughs> that might work. It's possible. I'm gonna have to write Pocket Master and Explosions 
so I can practice them at the same time. And Chris takes over here. I guess it would only do it for a quarter note. I'll just do whatever chord here. But yeah, that is Exploder. Um, so we'll listen to the whole piano part now. Going back to the verse. Then it goes through there. Okay. Whew. Okay. I think that's a wrap for that. Yeah. It's a new melody and all this. I want to listen to it one more time, though.
All right. Okay. So that's one song we have to write. Um, piano part two. This is the other one. Uh, this is Pocket Master. We showed some of it. We showed the drum editing. So we already recorded drums for this. Where I'm at now is now the song needs a... And there's also a guitar solo here. So yeah, I wonder how it's going to be. It's just going to be as cool as it can be. I guess that's all it can be. Okay. This should be good. So. Hmm, I, maybe this one can be improvised. Let me see. Let me actually listen to... Because I know Exploder couldn't... Like, that one couldn't be improvised. Pocket Master, though? I don't know. Maybe it can. We'll take a listen to what we have. Oh, all of his stuff is popping up. Okay. I need to listen to the rough draft. So this song, I think, is like close to having, like, it sounds pretty full missing a few things it's missing the guitar solo obviously the piano part I want to see if it can be improvised or if I need to write it out so that's what this listens about Give the guitar squeaks, they're not noised out yet. <laughs> that part is going to be insane. I think I can improvise this piano part. I think there's like one part we might need to compose. That is like the beginning of the chorus. There's like some space that could have melody. There's another part that could too, but I don't think melody should be with piano there. I think it's going to be like a marimba or something. From the dream, he tells them what they mean. But 
But even then, I don't know if we want to put a little melody there. Okay, so here it is. Oh, it's the first chorus. The second chorus doesn't need it. Yeah, there could be like a little piano break because like nothing has the melody here. It is speeding up. But yeah, it should still be good. Okay. So we're gonna. What chords are these? I have no clue. C sharp, five. I could make it do some major chord, but it might lose its power. I can do that. Na, na, na. Hmm. Maybe just make the melody first. And uh, he comes and sings. Yeah, so that should be good. And then the piano will go back to its. But yeah, I think this could be cool. here make it overly dramatic From that time we'll just be comping <laughs> so I don't really need to write that because I could just comp that and that other melody will be a different instrument I think the rest of it piano might just comp might do something at the guitar solo. Let me see.
Okay, I'm thinking piano might not even need to be at the guitar solo. I could do something cool there though. But yeah, the rest of this I think could be improvised. It's just this part. Okay. Nice. So I think that's all of Pocket Master. I'm gonna make sure this melody sounds good. Like it just needs like a little lick there. Everywhere else I think can just be like subtle. And yeah, improvise at the verse two would be pretty good. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, I did want to look at something else just to look at it though but yeah let me open that I'm not sure if like Reaper's set up but this will be like the last thing I look at the question that's been on my mind and let me capture Reaper I always have comments I want to make during streams, but I end up having paragraph dialogues. One idea you say is a part of obscurity. I say throw them on anyway, man. I'll probably remember what you what I was saying. <laughs> so this here. Let's see if we can even hear it. I'm at like a standstill in thought. I have two options. So right here, I this is the option I think I like the most. Like we'll have the songs play, the the tribe instruments will come in. Like they'll start the song and we f we fade in. Thinking that's gonna be the case. But this is what that sounds like. I'm thinking this is what it'll be. Also needs to be a piano part in this intro here, but there's some here, some piano here. From the dream. And then, I was even thinking, like we don't even come in in the beginning, and we come in after this part. But I like their parts here that they made, so I'm keeping the parts. Like, I was even thinking of cutting them here and just having them at the end. Now I'm thinking fading them in 
it's pretty powerful too. And the video will show them fade in as they fade in in their parts. All right, but that's that's what I'm sleeping on. Do I want this to fade in? Do I want this to just them come in normally, or do I want to go the extreme and remove them from this part? Remove us, I guess, from this part. But yeah, I'm thinking this is what I'm gonna go with though. Uh, yeah, the more I think about it, like this is probably the best sounding one. Best sounding way, I think. That's what it's about at the end of the day. I'm trying to make stuff that somewhat sounds good. <laughs> but at the same time, like, means something to us. Okay. Um, let me go over. We're reaching the end here. Getting some ads. Uh... These are all like creative projects, really. Uh, I'll advertise, of course, our Spotify, our just list uh, places you can listen to our music. Basically, it's really anywhere. Like our music's, we went through DistroKid, and it just kind of puts it on all stores. It's like an automated thing. It's pretty easy to release music. Uh, these days um, quote unquote professionally <laughs> but yeah it's it's available it's doing pretty good actually like the last few weeks it's been picking up like some reason it just picks up s random times that's a it's pretty cool um if you're from Spotify then you know leave a comment <laughs> but I don't know if they take the time to go to YouTube uh, this, this is a video, a commercial I shot with, uh, one of my friends, like he makes an appearance. Um, it's like insane. And I think when I uploaded this, like, I guess it didn't really get noticed or anything, but on TikTok it did like, I got like over a thousand, I think. <laughs> and it's just like a crazy commercial basically, um, for our album. I had a l I had a lot of fun making it. Obviously it's just really obviously ooh la la. The whole theme of a melancholy dream is like you shouldn't be watching this. It's like playing a pirated game or something. Like that's the whole theme of it. Of course the main dream, uh by going to the start here video you can experience all of melancholy dream to its full fullness but if you're not into the big project you can also just view them separately like here is secret stranger um the song is really bizarre i took a lot of risks and then we have this one where it's like a cartoon instrumental song this one's really good. I really like it. How that one turned out. And No More Words is a good one. If you're into like post rock, um, that's kind of what this one reminds me of. I think I was listening to a lot of post rock at that time and it just seeped into my style. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I like. I like the sound that it came out with. Very Death Note inspired. But I will end the stream here. I hope you all have a good rest of the weekend. Easter. And I will see you again soon. Maybe I'll make another announcement. But I'll definitely stream next week. Maybe we'll even rehearse. <laughs> You'll get to see us rehearse. Maybe that'll be cool. Alright, but until then... This is Josh from Phoenix Splash, signing off.